This set right here has been has been a godsend, um, if I'm being honest, for mock builders, army builders, or just the entire LEGO community as a whole. And I've been battling with this question, honestly, for quite a long time now, ever since the set has been released, and I've had a pretty decent amount in my collection, and that is, will I be buying any more of these battle packs? Now, it's not even like I could. Uh, if you're wanting to buy them, you know, it's like in and out of stock on Kohl's or Best Buy, maybe Target. LEGO hasn't restocked them in at least a few weeks, so it's not even like I could buy more if I wanted to. But I think I've finally come to the conclusion that I won't be buying any more of these 501st battle packs at least for a little bit and here's pretty much why essentially you guys know me I'm a mock builder here on the channel my channel revolves around making projects right now building a really cool endor obviously projects after that will be moving forward but basically what I was thinking was how many 501st do I need and that's sort of like an answer in this video people have asked me all the time like how many are you gonna get how many do you want to have opened how many figures do you want to have for your display or for your mocks and I've never really had an answer up until this point I love army building you guys know this I've made tons and tons of clone army videos Lego Star Wars mini figure collection videos I love just setting them all up and seeing them in front of me it's like one of the coolest things as a Lego collector and enthusiast I've come to the realization that I don't think I need to buy more of the 501st battle packs and I guess this base plate is sort of why um, I don't think I really need to buy any more and it's not because like I don't want to keep buying more You know because people might get mad that I'm buying so many I think it's because this is all I'll ever need in Reality if I'm ever building a mock, I don't think I'll need more So just for quick information on this base plate is 25 battle packs worth of 501st troopers That of course includes 75 of the normal troopers 25 of the jet troopers and we do also have 10 of the Ahsoka troopers I do want to get more of those. Um, that's the only part of the army. I still want to build up It's been such a long time since I actually opened the battle packs and like did all my build streams and stuff like that So it really dawned on me when I went to go look at them this morning that I don't really think I need any more than this Now here's a little bit of a closer look at that army like I said it's probably about 112 114 right now and of course the 501st is something I want to build as I grow you know like I want to obviously get the biggest 501st army I mean who doesn't but being like realistic here for a second I don't think I'll ever need more than what's here if I'm building a mock now of course in three or four years if I eventually find them on clearance and I want to build my army that's a completely different story but my main concern was finding enough of these so that way I could be prepared for a mock coming in the future after Endor that was my main worry of course now I think I'm actually at a point where I can confidently say I'm not buying anymore because I don't really need to and I would rather wait for them to go on sale or something like that now let's take a little bit of a closer look I mean these might look pretty generic but also for those of you who are pretty big fans of this set you'll know that these guys are pretty different uh, than you might expect Every single one of them has custom Firestar toy arms. I did purchase about half of them myself. The other half uh, was generously sponsored to me uh, on behalf of Firestar Toys. If you like any of these arms, they're super dope. Use my code BRICKWIS15, you'll save 15% off your order. You'll also support me here on the channel. Firestar Toys actually released a brand new uh, sort of arm style for their Jet Trooper, which looks amazing. And you'll also see here on the back of the Jet Trooper, there is a custom jetpack. This is a CAC jetpack. Pay for it myself. Um, really dope. I think this actually completely overhauls the entire jetpack minifigure and I think it looks super cool. And like I said, all the other 501st minifigures here on the base plate do have the other custom 501st printed arm. And I think that makes the difference of the world, honestly, when you look at each and every single one of these guys and sort of what they have to offer. Um, so I wanted to bring this update uh, for a few reasons. Number one, obviously just to show you guys, you know, what it's looking like. I don't think you guys have seen my personal 501st collection in a little bit now. And I don't think I've actually uh, showed you guys what it looks like actually like when I'm done collecting. But I think I've come to the conclusion that I don't think I need to buy more of these for the time being. Um, like I said, I have everything I would ever need for a mock. Yeah, I think I'm done buying the 501st battle packs for quite a long time. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is 100 plus, maybe just over 100 minifigures good enough for mocks of my size? Do you think I need to get more? Or do you think I've kind of overkilled it already? Uh, let me know. I think my wallet would agree with one way uh, for sure. But thank you guys for watching. But yeah, a little bit of a different video, a little bit of an update. But this is fun. And uh, peace.